for now, the highway takes me to the Costa de Amalfi Airport where I was to meet a gentleman who will take me up flying over the scenic coast. I made my way to his hangar inside the airport and was welcomed by his hangar dog, Sky. My friend Dele insisted that I should take a flight here at the Amalfi Coast. He said it's the best way to see the area. He introduced me to Francesco, who operates a flying school, an aerobatic school, and a batter tow business. Francesco and I both began with a banner towing business, making a living out of a hobby. Today, we are flying on a small MX-7, a tail dragger and a single-engine stall aircraft known for its agility and high payload. The last time I flew a mall was one on floats in one of the lakes in Michigan, so I'm quite excited for today's flight. Taxiing and takeoff on this aircraft, just like on any tail dragger, is tricky because you have to be quick in shuffling the rudder to keep it on track. As soon as our tail was up, it didn't take long for us to be airborne. We flew over the ruins of Pestum, an ancient Greek city with some of the most well-preserved Greek temples in the world dating back to 600 BC. The area used to be occupied by Greeks who have settled in southern Italy, bringing with them the Hellenic culture. Today, you will see a lot of dairy and vegetable farms around Salerno. We then reached the azure Tyrrhenian Sea, part of the Mediterranean where the Amalfi Coast lies. What is this town? This is Chatara. Chatara. Yeah. Okay. This is Erkia, and now we will see about it. There are a total of 13 towns along the coast, each one having its own traditions and specialties. From sandy beaches to lemon groves to hand painted ceramics. Nice houses. I don't want them complaining to you because of my flying. <laughs> yeah. Too near their house, they would say. <laughs> One thing is certain, the people have adapted well to the mountainous terrain, carving roads, farms, and towns on the steep sides of the cliffs. I could see why Francesco enjoyed flying the mall, especially with this kind of views. This is a good place because uh, I bought this one because uh, the difference from the Super Cup, we have much endurance. Yeah. It's uh, the, the possible to, to, to bring up, up to uh, high person and go to pilot because uh, I have also the 50 seats at the back. And it's nice. This is a mountain. Then when we uh, come back from the rainbow, we pass just over to the, the Amalfi Duomo. Okay. That is very nice, okay. The town of Amalfi, where the coast is named after, used to be a powerful marine republic. Their merchants had a monopoly on commerce in the Tyrrhenian, trading Italian goods in the east. There are several towns built on the mountain tops, which offer the best possible views of the coast. This is Ravello Church. If that's Ravello. Yeah. Ah, very nice. Yeah. That villa is nice. Yeah. This is an, an hotel now. The eastern influence can be seen in the Mayolica tiled churches along the coast, done in the Arab Norman style. Nearby Sicily used to be an Islamic settlement, and Arab artisans had a lot of influence in the area's architecture. There is a lot of history to be learned just by flying over the storied beaches and hillside settlements of the Amalfi Coast. 